Hello. In this video, I show you how to configure transporter selection for VMware vSphere backup jobs in Nikivo backup and replication. If you find our videos useful, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to get regular feature updates and product videos. The Nikivo transporter is the component that performs backup, replication and recovery, as well as other actions such as data compression, deduplication and encryption. Deploying multiple transporters can help you balance workloads, optimize network traffic and improve transfer speeds in large distributed environments. In these setups, we have two key players, the source transporter and the target transporter. The source transporter reads the source data during a backup job run while the target transporter writes the data to the backup repository. By default, the source transporters are automatically selected for backup job runs. However, if you have specific requirements or preferences, you can manually configure the transporter selection process for each job. To do so, navigate to the options step of a new or existing VMware vSphere backup job. Scroll down to the transporters option in the data transfer section. That's where we'll make the necessary changes to customize the transporter selection. The automatic selection option is set by default. This means the solution automatically determines the best transporters based on their proximity to the source and target servers. Proximity is measured using the ping round trip time. Dot. Let me show you how to manually specify the transporters either for all VMs included in the backup job or on a per host basis. Select either a new or an existing backup job and click edit. As you can see, I have multiple VMs to backup in this job. Let's head to the options tab. Scroll down to the transporters option in the data transfer section. Besides automatic selection, we have two other options. Manual, configured for all VMs allows you to select a single source transporter for all VMs. Additionally, you can select a replacement transporter in case the source transporter becomes unavailable. Manual, configured per host allows you to choose the source transporter for VMs on a particular host. This option can be used if you have VMs traveling between SE hosts and want to use HotAd to back them up. Just remember, to use HotAd, you'll need to have a transporter installed on the SE host where the source VM is located. In this demo, all source VMs are located on a single host, 10.30.50.94, which you can see here under Source Hosts. If you have VMs to back up on other hosts, you can assign them the same or different transporter. For the replacement transporter, you can specify your preferred approach from the drop-down menu. You can choose to exclusively use primary transporters, or manually select a replacement transporter for each host. In my case, I'm keeping the default automatic option. Click Save to save your changes. You can check the Transporters section in the Jobs dashboard to see which transporters the selected backup job uses. And that concludes our how-to video. Thank you for watching. You can download a free trial version of Nikivo Backup and Replication using the link in the description and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.